Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel so we are back with more of life on the seaside and in the last episode Jason ended up coming over to make sure that we were feeling okay since Lilith passed away it was very sweet of him and now we're kind of catching feelings for him but we're not going to act on them quite yet um, we're still kind of like did we kiss him did we not and all of that jazz but this morning we woke up to Daisy not feeling good which really really sucks um, so we ended up having to change our plans with Angela to going and doing yoga this afternoon and we just got done with taking our baby girl all the way to the vet and she had to get a cone. Sadly, we couldn't afford the very expensive treatment, which was just to give her some medicine. So she's going to be wearing this cone around the house for a couple of days and she just looks so sad. So we just left the vet and we are gonna be going and doing yoga very soon. She ended up telling Angela that they were gonna go do yoga around like three o'clock-ish so that she can get Daisy home and all of that jazz. So we are going to come inside and let's actually play with Daisy a little bit. Maybe we should vacuum. Uh, let's just go here with Daisy. <laughs> And when we get back, we need to work on schoolwork. Like, no joke, we need to get some schoolwork done. And we also need to clean up this house and we need to do some orders. So there's a lot that we need to do. Um, but she is a little hungry, so maybe we can get a snack before we leave. Let's get some leftovers. And Daisy, where are you? <laughs> oh, she looks so sad. My poor girl. I will never do this again, ever. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, Angela's calling us now. Oh my goodness. Angela's wondering if I want to go over to her house. Well, we are just about to go out. So she's probably like, I'm ready to go when you are. And she's like, uh, let me finish my lunch real quick. And I'll meet you there at the time that I told you. And she's like, that's perfectly fine. So let's finish up on our lunch slash dinner i should say <laughs> she might be hungry later but yeah oh daisy she's taking forever just to walk home this makes me so sad my poor girl all right well we need to hurry up girl eat that food oh she is getting a little tired i did cheat her you know energy a little bit not too much um just enough so that she wasn't like super exhausted this afternoon um but yeah all right we are gonna head out and go and do some yoga with angela we made it here so we're just gonna come inside and change our outfit into our um athletic wear <laughs> what we were wearing earlier i'm pretty sure angela's about to put on an outfit that is not athletic wear um, but that's okay because we are both just gonna come in here and practice some yoga um let's see can i control my sim uh, i cannot but maybe she will come and do some yoga i thought i had the mod in my game but i'm pretty sure i took it out because it was causing some problems i don't know exactly but yeah <laughs> i think it was conflicting with another mod or something so i was like you know what i don't need it <laughs> but i guess angela's not coming in here to do some yoga can we call her over here to do it Oh my gosh, Judith Ward is here. Oh my goodness. Um, hmm, can I, 
invite her to do yoga with me? I don't think I can, but I can call her over. I love that she's doing the yoga though. <laughs> so relaxing, right? <laughs> oh my gosh. I love yoga in this game. It's just so nice and relaxing. Um, but she does have some buffs here. She has improved posing. Nice. Good workout. Nicely decorated. Delicious dish. Good vibes. I love wellness and married for money. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we're going to do this because we kind of have a little bit of money right now, but you all let me know in the comments down below. Do you think we should do it? Do you think that her and Jason will actually like be the one for each other? Soulmates? Like, what do you guys think? I want to know. But, oh my gosh. Can the paparazzi like go away? This is so annoying and not relaxing anymore. We're about to just leave at this point. Like, are you kidding me? Please go away. We're trying to relax. Anyway, she's doing so good over there. Um, but I guess what we'll do is just come over here and just kind of like talk to Angela when we're done. Um, so we will kind of ask like how she's doing. It seems like she's doing really well just by, you know, how she's smiling and all of that. So, all right, I'm gonna have her stop doing yoga. Oh, she's getting smelly. We need to take a shower. Thank goodness there's showers here. Um, but we're just gonna talk to her. She's like, so are you doing a little bit better today? She's like, yeah, I mean, I'm trying and she's like well I mean at least you're doing that I'm happy that you're trying um, because we want you to know like we're always here for you and we love you and we care about you and she's like I know I know I'm trying my best oh I love them <laughs> uh, we'll also give her a hug even though we stink okay <laughs> we're gonna give her a hug she's like I'm going through you know a lot and She's like, I know, I know. I just want to make sure that you're okay. And she's like, I'm going to be okay. And I am okay. So don't worry too much. And she's like, well, I worry a lot. <laughs> um, but I'm going to have her come in here. And she's going to take a brisk shower. She needs to shave again. Oh, no, no. We're not going to shave our arms. We are a good... Not her scaring her. Okay, stop it. Go take a shower. <laughs> stop that. Oh my goodness. Oh, what's this? See what's happening. Girl, what? <laughs> oh my gosh. Like, don't start that now. <laughs> All right. Um, we're going to put back on. Uh, I guess we're just going to put this back on. And... We need to use the potty, so we'll do that. And uh, I guess what we'll do is maybe Angela will want to go and get some coffee or some food or something. We have so much work that we need to do when we get home, so maybe not. But she's finally doing some yoga. She's doing the yoga class, so that's good. That's what we wanted. We wanted her to get out and relax her mind and have a little bit of fun and that's what she's doing right now so I'm very proud of her but yeah we're just gonna head home uh, we had a nice time out with Angela even though she didn't do yoga with us at least she's doing it now <laughs> it's so pretty out too oh my gosh 55 degrees that is such nice weather oh my goodness I hate that she's so tired because we have so much work we have to do she probably won't be able to do some of it until tomorrow. <laughs> I feel like that is when she's going to have the most time is tomorrow uh, after she gets home from work and stuff. But we'll do some uh, flower arrangements tonight because those need to be out by tomorrow. So I'm going to have her make a um, bluebell, daisy and bluebells maybe. Let's do that one. 
and she's just going to probably do this one arrangement because it is getting later and she really needs to get some rest. Oh my gosh, and this house needs to be cleaned. Oh, Davy, is she sleeping? Oh, she's taking a nap. My poor baby. It makes me so sad to see her with a cone on her head. All right, let's get this done, girl. I know that you're tired. You're exhausted. I know. Um, we should probably harvest all of this and we should sell the bluebells once we're done doing our arrangement, obviously. I just know this is going to look so pretty. Like, bluebells are just gorgeous. <laughs> I would love to know what your all's favorite flowers are down in the comments below because I love bluebells, hydrangeas, um, lilies, like I just love flowers, honestly. <laughs> They're so beautiful. So she got a little too tired and now we can't finish this tonight, but that's okay. I'm going to have her come upstairs and we're going to go to sleep because we are exhausted um and daisy how are you doing oh wait 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 before you go to bed before you go to bed come and give this little baby some love and attention um just talk to her you know uh oh she's playing with her ball that was so cute oh praise her because she's so adorable oh look at the baby i love her such a cutie. Oh, all right. We need to go to bed. We're so tired. Uh, hopefully we have more energy tomorrow so we can clean up the house, um, try and make some money and work on some schoolwork when we get home from work. <laughs> because this is, this is just sad. Maybe we can also invite Jason over. You know what? We just might. Doing our morning routine, coming and brushing our teeth this morning. And what is this? Kiss Jason? We're locking that in. Um, <laughs> she had to have been listening to me because I was like, oh, we're gonna invite him over and stuff. Oh my gosh, we're actually gonna kiss him, you guys. We're gonna kiss him today, I don't care. Um, let's actually unload the laundry into the dryer. And we'll start the dryer. And I'm gonna have her go and grab herself something to eat really quickly, I hope. Can we get some leftovers again? Ooh, wait, hold on. We should probably clean out the bad food. Oh no, a trash can or sink is required. We have a trash can and a sink, what do you mean? Okay, we'll just have breakfast. Let's just have some French toast. Oh, is she going to work? Oh, never mind then. <laughs> so we just got home and we brought home 164 simoleons. And you know what? I think she is thinking about Jason a lot right now. Um, and him coming over the other day kind of just like sparked something in her. Like he is so perfect. And I just... I have to kiss him. I have to know if there's like sparks or something with us, if there's anything with us. Um, so it should be quite interesting. So the sentiments that they have together are closer from happy memories, adoring, and also friends in a time of loss. So this is gonna be kind of interesting to see if this even works out. Oh my gosh, Angela? Hey, Bren, I've been thinking about getting to know, oh my gosh, you know what? Go for it, girl. You need friends right now. And you know what? Do it. Do it. Go hang out. Why not? <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, is Daisy outside? Daisy doesn't have her cone on anymore. Yay. And Daisy just peed right in front of my door. Great. <laughs> okay, before we do anything, before we have Jason come over or anything like that, I need her to come over here and finish this vase um, because we need to get this arrangement out of here. It is important that it goes out today. So let's hurry this up, girl. Awesome. 
Awesome. She just got done. So we're going to sell that. Perfect. Lifestyle daily cap to reach. Wait, hold on. Where is that? Um. Oh, people person. Okay, wait, do we have another one that we're going to get? Single and loving it? Hold on. <laughs> wait a minute. Is she about to get this one? Oh my gosh. Sims living a single and loving it lifestyle. Happily enjoy the single life and savor their independence. Uh-oh. Oh man. So she's going to avoid being in a committed romantic relationship and romantic media. Okay, this is kind of crazy. So she's probably going to kiss him and then realize that she doesn't want to be in a relationship, but he wants to be in a relationship and he's going to try everything just to be in a relationship with her. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is going to be kind of crazy, um, <laughs> but I kind of love it. Um, because I can definitely see Bryn as just being single for a while and not really, you know, after that whole conversation with her friends, wait, it all makes sense now. Oh my gosh, you guys, it all makes sense because I told you all her friends were like, just have fun. Like you don't need to be in a relationship right now. And here we are. Bren's <gasps> this is crazy. This is so crazy. <laughs> the way that the story and the game are like, wow, okay. I'm kind of excited about this, but I'm gonna have her clean up the house really quickly before we have Jason come over. Um, oh, she can't vacuum in here? Hello, vacuum. Vacuum lightly. Oh my gosh. <laughs> put the vacuum down, put the, put the vacuum down. There we go, and vacuum. Really? Really? Oh my gosh. Okay. You know what? Can you do this? Can you vacuum lightly? There we go. Okay. Um, and then I'll have her come down here and she's going to vacuum down here too. Um, after she's done, actually she'll use the potty and then do that. Oh, do we need to clean the bathroom? Ooh, we kind of do, but uh, I mean, we're just going to kiss Jason, right? Maybe we should go for coffee. Maybe we shouldn't do it here. Um, yeah, I think we're going to go for some coffee instead. So we really don't have to clean up until we get back. We won't be out long. I would say like a couple hours or so because we still need to do schoolwork. Oh my goodness. There's so much that we have to do. <laughs> gosh it's okay it's fine um we're gonna have a fun time we're gonna see if hold on what's this chore galore okay i was like what is that buff and then i realized uh it's from her vacuuming <laughs> oh my goodness okay well Let's brush our teeth so our breath doesn't smell bad because I bet you it smells like coffee because she drinks coffee when she goes in for her shift in the mornings because she opens for the coffee shop. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, girl, are you ready for this? Are you ready to go and meet Jason at the coffee shop? She's probably like so nervous. Like, oh my gosh, I better not mess this up <laughs> because he is so cute. He's here. Um, what? Um, sir, what? What are you doing here? What, what? Um, uh, <laughs> he's probably just meeting us here. You know, that's probably what he's doing. She's gonna come out and be like, wait. Why are you here? Like, what, what's going on? <laughs> you know what? He probably just came here to pick us up. Yep. That's what he's doing. <laughs> so we're going to head out to the coffee shop now. So we got here to the coffee shop and we're just going to talk to him a little bit, you know, uh, see how he's doing. And he's walking away from us. <laughs> we're going to talk to him though. Um, Wait, ask Jason to pursue their dream job. 
Huh? Dream job? What dream job? What does he want to do? He should do it. He's like, okay. Um, or not. <gasps> wait, 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 wait. Although I appreciate your interest, friend, it's been one of those days. I'd prefer to talk about something else. What happened? Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, let's just, like, you know, talk to him a little bit. Let's give him a hug. Because what is going on? Like, he's having a bad day. Like, what happened? Oh. He's like, what's going on with you? And he's like, I don't really want to talk about it, but my dad actually told me that I need to figure out a different job because... Well, he's hiring somebody else to take over this, you know, complex and everything. So I can't really be in charge anymore. And she's like, what? He's like, yeah. And he's also probably going to kick me out soon. And she's like, what did you do? And he's like, I, I just don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. So now that they're out here, she is going to... No, come back. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Get him back here. Get him back here. We're not doing this, sir. We are not doing this, sir. You're coming over here. <laughs> she needs to see if she actually likes you. Like, can we just kiss? <gasps> okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. And you know what? she totally did feel something and she just wants him to know like she does um so yeah she's like that that was a great kiss huh <laughs> uh, she's like i just want you to know i actually really do like you and i was nervous to tell you and he's like i like you too like i really really do i think you're gorgeous amazing like everything like i just I didn't even know what to say. I didn't know how to, you know, approach you and tell you that I really do like you. And he also asked about Lilith and how uh, Angela's doing. And she's like, she's doing okay. She's just really kind of, I don't know. Her, her mood and stuff is a little all over the place. Like she'll be happy one moment and then she'll be sad the next. And it's just a lot. And he's like just be there for her like that's that's all you can do is just be there for her um and you know what she kind of remembers something from the other night when they went out the fact that angela got jealous now she's not gonna ask about that she's not gonna say anything about it but she kind of remembers that angela got mad at her because she was flirting with jason and stuff like that so i don't i don't know I don't know. She's just going to kind of keep that to herself, I guess, right now. <laughs> She's not going to say anything. Um, but we're going to head home because we have some work that we need to do. So we will uh, embrace and just be sweet. Like, thank you for everything. He's like, anytime. Anytime you want to do anything or if you want me to come over. And she's like, you know, um, if you want, you could come over now and just kind of like hang out for a little bit while I do some schoolwork and stuff. And he's like, sure, like, I don't mind. I can hang out. So we're going to head back to our place with Jason and hang out for a little bit. We made it back to our house and we are doing some schoolwork. We're so bored, but Jason's here with us and he's just keeping us company and he's going to recite love poetry. What? Or are we going to do that? That is so cute. And he's talking about like he's moving out, obviously, because his dad's kicking him out. And he's not 100% sure on where he's going to go. But he's thinking of moving to San Myshuno. And she's like, I really love going to San Myshuno and, you know, seeing the nightlife and stuff. He's like, well, maybe you can come and see me sometime. And she's like, I would really like that. That would be a lot of fun. Um, 
He's like, we don't have to make this like serious or anything. Like, we don't need to be in a relationship if you don't want to. And she's like, relationship? Like, I, I wasn't even thinking about that. I was just thinking like we were, you know, kind of messing around and stuff. And he's like, I mean, whatever you want to do, like, we can do that. And that kind of raises a little bit of some red flags in her head. Like, is he wanting to be serious or is he not like at some point will he want to settle down because it's sounding like he doesn't but you never know so she's just kind of you know gonna let that one go for a little bit um but she's really happy that he decided to come and hang out with her while she does her schoolwork. And she is just like so into him. You could just tell because she is not focused on her schoolwork at all. Like she does not care about the schoolwork. <laughs> um, she does have some buffs here. She has empowered sisterhood. Um, she has nicely decorated, good vibes, shared joy boring discussion and of course married for money <laughs> oh yeah that one's still in the back of her head like should i just get married to this man like did he just move in with me and then at the same time she's like single and loving it you know <laughs> so it's kind of confusing right now um but you know what she she cannot uh focus on her schoolwork and all she can think about is being with this guy and kissing him, of course. So we're gonna kiss him. And we're also going to uh, caress his cheek. And let's also embrace him. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Not this hug. <laughs> Not a friendly hug. No, no, no. Let's kiss him. Who's here? <gasps> Julia's here? Oh, um, Julia just saw that. Um, so, so we'll, we'll invite her in. We'll be like, oh, girl, uh, I didn't know you were coming. What's this? Embrace Justin. What's this? Embrace Jason. Okay, okay. I really thought that that was something else, but it's not. What is this? What are y'all doing? Don't you dare flirt with her. Don't you dare flirt with her. All right, she's inviting Julia in and Julia's like, so what's going on here? And of course, <laughs> Bren's like, I don't, I don't want to talk about it. She's like, does Angela know about this? Yeah, we're gonna go in here and talk to Julia. Because Julia is like, have you even talked to Angela about this? Like, do you know that him and Angela are kind of flirting and stuff with each other? And she's like, what are you talking about? Like, no. And she's like, um, well, you're gonna have a rude awakening if uh, Angela finds out. And she's like, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew that Angela liked him. I knew that Angela was mad at me because I was flirting with him because she liked him and that they were flirting together. Like, I just knew it. And Julia's like, wait, what? And she's like, yeah, the other night when we all went out. Yeah, I kind of figured it out. <laughs> uh, so she's like, girl, I'm just looking out for you. All right. I'm just looking out for you. And I don't want you and Angela ha to have like this whole falling out because of some boy. Like, no just talk to her and let her know like I don't know if I can do that he's like well you better try you better figure it out because I'm not telling her oh, my goodness he's like thank you for telling me um she's like yeah no problem I'm gonna head home now and Jason is going to be heading home as well and all these random people that keep showing up at my house <laughs> We need to go take a shower and kind of get ourselves ready for bed. Um, I know that we didn't vacuum the house completely, but we'll definitely do that <laughs> tomorrow. Um, but Jason said, I really should get going now. Thanks for hanging out with me. See you later. 
and she's kind of thinking about moving in with him. I know, I know, it sounds crazy, but she's kind of thinking about it because it seemed like Jason was kind of hinting at that and like she is so into this guy, but I don't know, I don't know if she would do it. I don't know if she would actually move in with him, you know? Um, so we'll just have to wait and see because I don't even know. I would love to know what you all think down in the comments below. Do you think that she should move in with Jason? Or what? Because I don't I don't know if she's going to want to stay here if he's all the way in San Maishu now. Even though she loves going there when she can, I don't think she's going to want to go back and forth constantly. I don't know. Who knows? Uh, but let's change our outfit into our sleepwear. Uh, because it is getting quite late and we need to get some rest. We need to make ourselves some food. Let's come downstairs and actually make up some dinner. We're going to have dinner. We're going to have... Um, let's do blackened bass. That sounds delicious. Can you go do that? I think we're going to do that. And how is Daisy? Daisy needs some affection for sure. So we will definitely be doing that. Our poor baby. She's just sitting there. <laughs> Thank goodness she doesn't have that cone on her head anymore because that was really sad. But anyways, you guys, I hope that you all enjoyed this episode. I know it was a little all over the place, but I really enjoyed it because there is a lot going on and we are going to be unraveling all of that throughout the next couple of episodes, I feel like. So anyways, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye, everybody. Cause you've got